This is uh, real estate coach Craig Proctor. Uh, welcome to today's session. We're going to be talking about how to stop losing your leads, your future prospects and clients to other real estate agents. Very frustrating, isn't it? Here's something you should check out. If you look at the leads that are in your CRM and you were to cross-reference those leads that are in your CRM to uh, MLS and you were to see how many of these sellers that had contacted you first have actually listed their home with another agent, which is exactly what I did, it's very frustrating, right? Um, I would look in the notes and sometimes the seller prospect would actually say, yeah, I'm moving, it's gonna be in three months, we're gonna be in six months. So they didn't lie to me. They were very upfront and honest about when they were moving, why they were moving, they told me, but I lost the business because of lack of follow-up. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Obviously, it would be a wonderful world if every buyer and seller prospect that we spoke to said, oh my God, I'm ready to buy or sell today. Wouldn't that be a wonderful world? Because it means we wouldn't have to follow up with anybody. The truth is, it's the opposite. 80 or 90% of the people we talk to every day um, are like, yeah, I'm going to do it, uh, but I'm going to do it three months from now or six months from now. So if you agree that the majority of your opportunity is with future prospects, we better talk today about how to build a system to make sure you don't lose that business. And that's exactly what I did. And that's exactly what we're going to be talking about today. So if you're joining us a little bit late, I am real estate coach Craig Proctor. I was the number one REMAX agent in the world within 36 months of having my real estate license and I've sold over 10,000 homes. So a little bit about why you should listen to me. If you haven't checked in already, uh, please do that. Let us know what city, what marketplace you operate in and why should you do that? Because we get a lot of referrals. Also, I'm going to give away some good information today. So we need to know who you are so we can give it to you. I'll also uh, offer you an invitation to my private Facebook group so you can hang out with the top agents all over the United States and Canada. It's in my best interest if you start to talk to all of these superstar Craig Proctor members that are making millions of dollars a year uh, because we all need social proof, right? We want to actually see proof that what Craig talks about actually creates millionaires. So the money is in the follow-up. Right? We spend all this money generating the lead. All our time and energy is in uh, generating leads, generating leads, generating leads. Well, today we're going to talk about, well, what happens after you generate the lead? So generally, here's what happens. And you guys can let me know in the comments whether you agree or disagree. But the way I used to run my business, I didn't have a follow-up system really at all. I would spend all this money generating leads. And my whole follow-up system was calling them on the phone. Now, 20 years ago, here's what would happen. A lot of people would actually answer the phone. So that strategy of generate a lead and then chase them down and get them on the phone. And the reason we're getting them on the phone is to obviously qualify them. What I mean by that is determine their motivation and timing. Because if they're not motivated at all, I don't want to follow up with them. If they tell me I am motivated, but I'm not going to do anything for five years, I'm not going to follow up with them for five years. I got too many buyers and sellers coming at me that are going to do something in three to six months. But at least I know. The crazy part was, is even some of the prospects, as I said a minute ago, that would actually tell me, yeah, I'm going through a divorce or the commute is killing me. I need to move closer to the city or I'm being transferred. Even when they told me the why and the when, and I entered it in the notes, still many of those fell through the cracks because I just didn't have the time to follow up with everybody. So, you know, the key is you got to be in the right place at the right time. Here's the answer. I'm going to show you today what to do in addition to making the phone calls that automates this. Now, here's the problem with just making the phone calls today. How many of you would agree people are not answering the phone? That's our, you know, we can't even get our kids to answer the phone, right? Um, I call my son, he lets it ring, and then I text him, uh, hey, uh, did you, yeah, uh, what's up, right? So you, our real estate agents, 
Let's be honest, we don't even like it when our phone rings. So we need an approach, okay, that is going to be effective in today's world. And so if you're just trying to reach the prospects on the phone, you're going to reach about one in 10, okay? I'm not, I'm not here to say it doesn't work at all. I'm just saying it doesn't work as well as it used to because most people are not answering the phone. We need a plan B. So I'm going to talk to you about what you guys can do as a plan B uh, so we can convert or at least reach these prospects with our message. Now, I'm going to prove to you that this works right now. Right now, I'm giving you a presentation. And you're going to get to know, like some of you know me and some of you don't know me. But everyone's going to get a presentation and it's going to be a good presentation today. And uh, hopefully at the end of it, uh, you're going to think, well, Craig really knows what he's doing. Uh, He's good at this. He can help me. This is exactly what I want to teach you to do. The point I'm making is I don't need to meet you at your kitchen table to explain what I do, right? I'm giving you a presentation right now without you and I physically meeting. And see, in real estate, the mindset has always been, oh my God, I got to reach him on the phone. Uh, so I can convince them to meet with me. And at the meeting at their house, that's when I tell them who I am and what I do and what makes me different. And that's why they're going to hire me. That's our mindset. That's our paradigm. So over the pandemic, we couldn't meet with people and we can't reach them on the phone. So what we've created is an automated follow-up system. Now, I'm going to suggest when the lead comes in, you're still going to call them using my universal callback script. I'm going to give you the script today if you want it. Okay, if you want my script, you're going to type into the comments below your email address. Type in your email address. And here's why you want the universal callback script. First of all, why do I call it a universal script? Because it works no matter what type of buyer or seller it is. It doesn't matter what the buyer or seller requested. We have one script that universally works for any buyer or seller, regardless of the circumstance of how you generated the lead. You could use this script when you're speaking to buyers and sellers at an open house, whether it's a sign call, whether it's an ad call, doesn't matter. This thing works. I invented this script through my own necessity as a real estate agent, because in the beginning, I didn't have a script. Uh, I guess I did. My, My script was called Wing It. And basically what that meant is every time I talk to somebody, I kind of wing it and I'm trying to make it up as I go along, but I'm learning, right? Some of the words that came out of my mouth, a lot of the words that came out of my mouth were ineffective. So I started to notice uh, some things that I say are quite effective and a lot of what I'm saying is ineffective. So over the years, I experimented with what words work the best. What are the qualifying questions that we need? Now in the beginning, because I wasn't very good at this, I might spend 20 minutes on the phone with a buyer or seller prospect, and um, I didn't know their motivation and timing. Those are the two most important things I think you would agree we want to know on this phone call, is are they going to do it? Are they going to buy or sell and when? So here I was earlier in my career, I'd spend 20 minutes or even a half an hour on the phone with a buyer or seller. I might know uh, you know, the, the name of their spouse, how many kids they have, the name of their dog, but I didn't know their motivation and timing. So that's kind of dumb, right? I'm spending all this time with people, but I'm not getting to the root of the, the most important information. What is their motivation and timing? The next step is I became good at asking the right questions. And that's what you'll find in the universal callback script, asking the right questions to determine their motivation and timing. The problem was I was still spending 15 or 20 minutes on the phone. Now think about this. If you and I want to get rich selling real estate, we can't be 20 minutes on the phone with each prospect to determine their motivation and timing. So this script, I've trimmed it down over the years. I perfected it. So it'll take you about three or four minutes to get through the script and determine the motivation and timing of the prospect. And now when you know their motivation and timing, you've got a couple choices now. 
if they seem really motivated and they're going to take action in the next in the short term like in the next couple of days or weeks or months we teach you what to say what offer what words should come out of your mouth to compel the buyer and seller to want to meet with you okay you can't make them meet with you but if you offer them what they want uh, they'll want to meet with you now that's if they're ready to act the next category would be prospects that are motivated but it's going to be months and months out well i don't know about you but i don't want to meet with a seller that yes they're absolutely going to sell they've been transferred they're going through a divorce but they they have a reason why they're telling you there's a reason why they can't list their home for six months the divorce isn't finalized the transfer isn't finalized why meet with a seller six months before uh, they can actually do anything so i would just continue to follow up with that seller because whatever price you give them today six months from now that price would be wrong and they feel like well i've already met with craig you know maybe i'll interview a couple of other agents so um for me anyway i don't want to meet with somebody that's telling me yeah i'm absolutely going to move but not for six months okay the next category is some of the prospects we talk to if you ask these questions in this script you determine they're not really motivated right they're telling me they're not motivated um you know just looking calling for a friend or whatever um and the timing if they were to move is way way out in the future those leads i choose not to follow up with so that's the idea of the script if i can get them on the phone i want to determine whether they're now business future business or no business at all and for the people that are no business at all i simply make sure they get what they requested from me and you know thanks and have a nice day if things change please give me a call now all of what i just said does not work if you can't get them on the phone and that's the problem a lot of you guys are having you might say well uh, craig i get it i'm kind of doing that maybe your script is better than my script but uh, doesn't really matter whether i'm good or bad on the phone if i can't get them on the phone and if your whole business is reliant on i got to talk to them to tell them how good i am so i can meet with them to give them a presentation on what i do you're in big trouble if you can't get them on the phone so here's the next step the lead comes in you're going to use my script again if you want this script you type your email address into the comments below and someone on my my team will get that script to you it's really good uh, this is usually something reserved for my coaching members but I want to prove to you I can help you and the easiest way for me to prove to you that I can actually help you is just to help you so I'm going to give you the script when you see it it's ingenious okay this is going to help all of you but Craig what about the people we can't get on the phone okay so here's how it's going to work let's say it's a paid ad that we run on Facebook maybe the budget is five or ten dollars a day this is working really well if you've got the right offer and I know some of you will say well I've tried uh, paid ads on Facebook and Facebook doesn't work yes that's true if you've got a weak offer a bad offer it doesn't matter where you run it it's not going to work you know I have real estate agents telling me you know nothing works direct mail doesn't work Google pay-per-click doesn't work paid ads on Facebook don't work yes if you don't have the right offer it doesn't matter where you run it or how much money you spend on it it doesn't work for you so but don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. hang with me here let's assume that what I'm talking about is true let's assume that I actually have created more millionaire real estate agents than any other coach or guru or trainer out there here's how this is going to work I show you the inexpensive ads five or ten dollars a day on Facebook not going to break your bank account those leads come into your CRM you're going to call them but you might not get them on the phone no worries here's where the automation kicks in we have a series of emails that are automatically going to go out from your CRM and if you don't have a CRM we'll show you a CRM that will work for you but most CRMs will allow you to send out an automatic email as soon as the lead comes in and then a couple days later they get another email and then they get a text message from you and in some areas you're also allowed to send ringless voicemail messages and they're going to get a direct mail piece in their mailbox then we are going to retarget them on Facebook and some of you know how to do this some of you may not but Facebook pixels everybody that watches your stuff or responds to your ad so right now 
1,000% of you watching this have automatically been pixeled on Facebook. That means I might not know who you are, but Facebook does. So tomorrow, if I want to send a message, a video out to all of you watching this right now, all I have to do is uh, take whatever video I want to put in front of you in your news feed out. I'm going to create a custom audience, so I'm going to push it out to you. <laughs> this explains why when you start to watch some of the Craig Proctor material, you start to see Craig Proctor all over the place. Well, this is what you want to do. Now, notice everything that I'm, um, I'm suggesting you do, I'm successfully doing it. This is why you're watching me right now. So I'm going to remind you again, I'm giving you a presentation, a really good presentation today. I didn't call you on the phone and you would not you would not have answered it anyway, right? If I mentioned if I called you, oh, hi, this is uh, Craig Proctor. I'd like you to come on to this. No, we're not relying on that. I'm offering you something you want. You came here. I'm giving you a presentation. All of this, by the way, cost me zero dollars. So all of you can afford to do this. Now, um, I'm offering you a script. Now I have your email address so I can email you as well, right? Now you can unsubscribe, of course, at any time. But if I was offering you really good things and you're starting to see me all over the place and I'm really helpful to you, some of you are gonna say, you know what, I'm gonna check out Craig Proctor. Maybe Craig Proctor is somebody that can really help me in my real estate career. Well, this is exactly what we're gonna do for you and your community. We're gonna offer good stuff. Uh, when the lead comes in, of course, we're gonna call them, but you're gonna be coached up on the right things to say so you can determine the two most important things about that prospect in under three minutes. Two most important things is what is their motivation and timing? If you can't get them on the phone, no worries. They're gonna get a series of automated emails and a series of automated text messages. Now it gets better than this. If you were to meet with a buyer or seller, what I hear you guys say is that's 99% of the battle. Like Craig, just get me in front of a buyer or seller and I'm really good. You know, I could tell them about five minutes, like, uh, you know, here's what I do. You know, my name is Jim. I work at Keller Williams. I've been in this uh, marketplace for 17 years. This is what I do. These are my services. This is what makes me different and better. How many of you would agree? Let me know in chat you know what to say, right? You've got your, whatever we call it, your elevator speech, what you would say to a buyer or seller as to why they should choose to do business with you, what makes you different, what makes you better. Okay, so you know how to do this already. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna teach you the talking points of what to say on a little four or five minute video. Okay, about four minutes, maybe five minutes. And remember those automated emails and text messages that go out? they're gonna have links to a video that they can watch. So this is like the next best thing to you sitting at their kitchen table. They don't answer the phone, so you can't get to the kitchen table. And since the pandemic, of course, everybody's been programmed, oh my God, don't meet with anybody. So it's been a real behavioral change amongst prospects. So how can we get you and your awesome message in front of buyer and seller prospects. This is how we do it. How many of you agree buyers and sellers, a lot more of them would likely open your email or see your text message and would prefer to watch a video of you saying, hey, here's who I am and this is what I do and these are my services. They'd rather watch the video than have you over to their house. Well, it's easy to figure this out. What about you? If you're buying life insurance, you want to buy a new car or whatever, would you rather go into the car dealership uh, and you know talk to the salesperson? Is that the first step for you? Or would you go to the website maybe, check out the information? You would. You would start to do some research. If you're buying life insurance, I guess you could have... I don't know, three or four life insurance guys come over to your house and uh, talk to you, but most of us don't want to do that. So there's been a change in behavior. Prospects don't want to answer the phone. They really don't want to meet with us, at least until they're pre-sold. You see, here's what's different. Back five years ago, um, buyers and sellers would want to meet with real estate agents and they want to meet with us and interview us. And that's really changed. Now hear me out on this. 
where now the battle for who the agent's going to be, that battle is being fought online. It's your online presence. So we're going to take all the great stuff about you and put it on a four or five minute video. They'll watch four or five minutes. Uh, okay, watch this. Right now, you've been watching me for 20 minutes. Because good stuff, right? You've been watching me for 20 minutes. So I got you to come and watch this. It cost me zero dollars. I made a good presentation. I'm offering you good information that's going to help you. And now you're going to start seeing my stuff all over the place. I'm actually practicing what I preach with you. So I'm right now, by virtue of the fact that you're watching this right now, 1000% proves that this is an effective method. So we're going to coach you up and we're going to teach you how to do this. So we talked about the money is in the follow-up. We're going to still try to get them on the phone, but in most cases, you will fail at getting them on the phone. If you get them on the phone, I'm giving you the script. If you type in your email address, I will send you the universal callback script. The script is going to help you determine their motivation and timing. Then they're going to get an automatic series of awesome emails and text messages. Uh, people read their emails, and if you don't get them on the email, the text, the email and text are going to have links to a video where you say, hey, um, you know, here's my name. My name is Susan. Um, I work at Remax. Uh, I've been uh, a Remax agent here for 17 years in town. And you talk about your service. This is what I do. This is what I provide. This is what makes me different and better. And then you make an offer. If you'd like to uh, know what you're, if you're thinking of selling, you'd like to know what you would net in your pocket after all your expenses, right? Or you'd like to know inexpensive things to do to sell your home for six to $8,000 more, whatever your offer is going to be. And the call to action is call me. This is my cell phone number. You know, my name is Susan. When you call this number, I'll be the one answering the phone. So this is what we want. We want buyers and sellers calling us. You guys don't have any problem when they call you. Where you have a problem is you trying to reach them, calling them over and over again. And this is why, you know, buying Zillow leads or realtor leads, you know, it's it's difficult, right? You're spending all this money, you're making hundreds of phone calls, you're hardly reaching anyone on the phone. And when you reach them on the phone, they don't know why you're calling. They didn't ask you to call. Um, they blow you off. And so the, either they don't answer the phone or they say, you know what, I'm in the middle of something or I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't request this. Somebody was playing with my phone. It's very depressing selling real estate, doing it the old way. So let's start off 2024 with smart, modern marketing. Give me a thumbs up if this makes sense. Smash the like button. Okay, smash the like button and make sure you follow my page because I come at you uh, several times every single month with great information and it serves me. The more great information that I give you that actually works makes you more interested in what I have to offer. It's true for you. Right now, your biggest battle is obscurity. So let's start with this. Let's get everyone that wants to buy or sell in your community to at least know who you are and to understand the services that you offer and what makes you different and better. And then we can keep coming at them. So think about this. If your prospects start to see you over and over again with really good stuff and they see you all over the place, they open their uh, email, you're there. They look at their text messages, you're there. They go to their Facebook news feed, you're there. They go to the mailbox, you're there. You've created this omnipresence. In their world, because people live in a bubble, in their world, you're everywhere. People know you, right? They like you. They see your personality. Uh, they feel uh, like they know you before you even get over to their home. In other words, they're pre-sold. How many of you get what I'm talking about? I, I got to this point in my real estate business. Uh, it was really weird, right? Where I, where I get to their home and the homeowner would open the door and say, oh my God, I, I, it's, it's, I, I can't believe you came yourself. I thought you were going to send, you know, one of your team members. So it builds a bit of a celebrity status for you, which of course, um, you know, it's easier to, uh, to get the listing when, when you're positioned that way as somebody uh, that is a welcome guest 
instead of an annoying pest, right? That's what we're talking about today. How do you go from being viewed as a, instead of being viewed as an annoying pest, instead to a most welcome guest? This is how we do it. I sold over 10,000 homes. Think about this. Within 36 months of having my real estate license, I go from as dumb as a pile of rocks, doing all the crap they tell us to do, right? Cold calling, door knocking, sitting in open houses, chasing expired listings, to really understanding marketing, figuring that out, okay? And coming up with good offers that people really wanted, but we have to operate our business the way the prospect wants to operate, right? We can't continue to say, well, this is the way real estate's always been done for the last 40 years. Uh, basically, we're just going to keep cold calling people and call them and call them and call them. Very frustrating, right? You know they're not answering the phone. There's nobody here that's going to type into comments, oh, well, that's wrong. There's been absolutely no difference over the last couple of years. Just as many prospects are answering the phone. You know that's not true. You know when you call your teenagers, they don't answer the phone. You know as a real estate agent, you should be answering the phone, but you don't even like it when the phone rings. So let's change with the times. Let's modernize your marketing and automate it. Think about this. How many, if you do it my way, how many prospects could you follow up with if the automation did all the work? Let me rephrase it. How many prospects could you follow up with if it had nothing to do with you? How many prospects can you follow up with if it totally depends on you calling, 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 trying to reach them? And, you know, you go on vacation next week and you miss a couple of sellers uh, that listed while you were on vacation, right? Versus maybe they would have called you had the automation been there and said, hey, uh, I'm thinking of selling. And uh, you say, hey, I'm back in town in a couple of days. This is how we do it. This is what we're doing for our millionaire agents, okay? So um, plug this in today. If you want to know, know more information about what I do, would it be okay for me to invite you to come on a free breakthrough call? This will cost you zero dollars. If somebody could type into the comments below, proctorconsult.com. So just my last name, Proctor. It's Proctor with O-R at the end, not E-R. So Proctor Call, no space, or sorry, Proctor Consult, no space.com. ProctorConsult.com. When you go to ProctorConsult.com, you're going to my Acuity Day Timer. You're going to pick a day and a time that works for you. It'll be about a half an hour. We're going to do it over Zoom. I know what you're thinking. Oh my God, this is some kind of sales pitch. Not at all. I didn't sell you anything here today. When you book your breakthrough call with my team, we're going to ask you to fill out some questions. How long you've been in real estate? How many homes did you sell last year? How, do you have a team? How many people on your team? What is your unique selling proposition? Why do you think buyers or sellers should choose to do business with you? Versus, We'll ask you all these great questions. And then we are going to prescribe for you what we think you should do. Now, you can decide, would I like Craig Proctor to help me with this? Or do I want to try to figure it out on my own? All we want to do is lay out, here's what we would do if we were in your shoes. And then you can decide. If you don't like the call, obviously you can hang up at any time. But I promise you, you're going to like this. If you like this, this is in a group setting. Imagine if we were individually talking to you one-on-one -on -one about your situation. So go to proctorconsult.com. Book yourself a free consulta consultation, $0.00 right? Don't prejudge this. Give yourself a chance with this. Let us have a conversation about you and your business, and you can decide whether this is something that you want to pursue, whether this is right for you. Now, again, if you want the script, just type in your email address and we'll send the script out. Again, it'll take you about three minutes on the phone if you're lucky enough to reach the prospect on the phone, and you'll see all the great questions, the order of the questions, why we ask the questions in this particular order, and then what offer should I make, right? If they're ready to act now and they're qualified, it's a good buyer seller, what do I say to them? If they're a good prospect, but they represent future business, I might not want to meet with them today. How do I handle that situation? And how do I handle the situation if we just determine that they're not really motivated and their timing's way off in the future, probably not someone you want to pursue, 
how do we gracefully handle that situation as well? The Craig Proctor Universal Callback Script. So um, again, if this makes sense to you, please smash the like button or maybe give me a little one of those little hearts um, uh, that, that lets me know that you guys like this stuff and provide your comments below. Does this make sense? Do you agree with this approach that a lot more prospects would know who you are if you could get in front of them uh, with these messages? Okay, you already know what to say. You're really good when you're face-to-face -face with buyers and sellers. The problem is you can't get them on the phone today. And the few that you do get on the phone, they don't really want to meet with you. And now you're like, well, how do I tell them what I do if I can't meet with them? Just how we did it here today. I'm not, I'm not sitting at your kitchen table. And I certainly didn't call you. Imagine if I called you. Yeah, do you want to come on this Zoom meeting? No, you wouldn't have even answered the phone. This is how we're going to lay out your business. I'll repeat this again. The very... The, the fact that you're still here watching me 30 minutes, we're over a half an hour on this, and you're watching a presentation. And what did we accomplish today? Well, you kind of have a feel for who Craig Proctor is. Hopefully you think, well, Craig's somebody that could help me. He, uh, he's got a great track record for helping other agents. He's got a great track record for being a millionaire agent himself. Um, I kind of like his approach, right? And now we'll follow up with you. You're going to see me over and over again. Let's just do this for you. I promise you it works. I've got all kinds of real estate agents that I want you to meet that are using the Craig Proctor approach. So you might be saying, well, how do I meet these Craig Proctor superstars? You know, Craig, this all sounds great, but I'm a skeptic, or maybe you've been involved with other coaching, you know, gurus before, and you feel that it was underwhelming, okay? I want to say this. A lot of coaches, so-called experts in real estate, do you know that some of them have never actually had a real estate license? It's crazy, right? Some of them have never sold a house. They've never showed buyers a home. They've never done open houses. They've never chased expired listings. They've never done offer presentations, uh, staying up to midnight with nothing to show for it. I believe I can better help you because I better understand you because I was a real estate agent and a very top real estate agent for over 20 years. So hopefully you get that feel that, you know what, if I want to learn how to do really well in real estate, it probably makes sense to learn it from somebody that did really well as a real estate agent and also has a track record for transferring that knowledge to other real estate agents. So I've got this dual track record of yeah, I was really successful for over 20 years, number one REMAX agent in the world. Also, my dual track record is creating more millionaire agents than any other coach or guru or whatever they want to call themselves. So be open-minded about this. What if this is true? What if it is really as simple as understanding your marketplace, testing different offers, finding the thing that buyers and sellers really respond to, and then getting you in front of them over and over again until they call you. That's what's going to happen. They're going to call you, some of them, not all of them, but if we email, you know, your list is going to start off small. You got 50 people, you got 100 people. All of a sudden, you get 1,000 people getting your emails and getting your texts and seeing your information on Facebook in the, their news feed if they have a Facebook account or seeing you in their mailbox, it's a numbers game. And so this thing builds slowly, but it gets very, very big over time. And you're gonna look back at what we talked about today and you're gonna say, I'm really glad that I watched this presentation. I'm really glad that I booked this consultation and uh, you are open-minded to a better approach as a real estate agent here in 2024. So uh, the final thing I wanna offer you the opportunity to meet other Craig Proctor superstars is inside my private Facebook group. Okay, so if you would like to be part of my private Facebook group, just type into the comments below, private group. Okay, private group. And someone on my team will send you, they'll reply and they'll send you a link, an invitation to get inside my private group. Now, my private Facebook group is called Rich Agent Secrets. Pretty good name, right? We want to get rich. Rich Agent Secrets. 
And we've got over 7,000 members, probably about 8,000 top real estate agents from all over the United States and Canada. And you can talk with them. You can see their questions. You can see how we answer their questions. Uh, that should be helpful. And it costs you, again, $0. So the script is $0, the universal callback script I'm offering today. I'm giving it to you. The free consultation with my team and I cost you $0. And to join my private Facebook group, costs $0. So hopefully you found this incredibly helpful today, but let me know, please do let me know in the comments below whether this approach makes sense to you, uh, what you liked about this, or maybe what you didn't like about this. Make sure you do smash the like button or maybe give me a little hard and uh, most importantly, follow this page, turn on notifications, follow this page. So whenever I go live, uh, you're going to get information. You're going to get, um, a notification that we're going to get together. So uh, we'll wrap it up for today. We're, we're now 37 minutes into this and uh, you're still watching this. So again, proof that this actually does work. So thank you uh, so much. Uh, I am real estate coach Craig Proctor. I uh, appreciate you being here today and we'll see you hopefully on the other side. Take care. Have yourself a good day. Hi, this is Craig Proctor. Hey, I really hope you enjoyed that video. And listen, I've got a lot more information for you to help you grow your real estate business. You see, several times a week, I record new videos and I load them onto this YouTube channel. What I'd like you to do if you'd like to access them are two important things, and both are totally free. Number one is I'd like you to subscribe to this channel. You're gonna see a little subscribe button for you to click on. And if you don't already have an account with YouTube, it's free for you to set it up. It's really easy, it's free, but you've got to subscribe to this channel. And the most important thing is to ring the little bell right next to the subscribe button. And that's gonna let you know every time I load new money-making videos to help you grow your real estate business. So make sure you subscribe right now, you ring the little bell, and we'll see you on the next video.